So here's how we can find the greatest common factor for 12 and for 60. So the greatest common factor, that's also called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. Uh, they're all the same thing. I like greatest common factor though. So the GCF, what we do, we find the factors of 12 and 60. We look at the common factors and then we choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. So factors of 12. 1 times 12, that equals 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. And then 3 times 4. Those are the factors of 12. For 60, 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, and I think 6 times 10. I think those are all the factors of 60, quite a few. So we have the factors. Let's see what's in common. 1, that's in common. 2, 3 is in common, but we have 4, that's in common. We have 6, 6 is in common. And then the greatest common factor is 12. So 12 goes into 12 and to 60 evenly. So the GCF for 12 and 60, that is 12. So you could use another method like prime factorization, but unless you have big numbers, this is a pretty good method. This is Dr. B looking at the GCF of 12 and 60. And the answer is 12. Thanks for watching.